Good morning, folks. About 36 hours earlier than I expected, geomagnetic storms popped up and briefly cut back the quake watch. More CMEs are leaving the sun around the limbs, but we'll do the earth-facing portion first over at spaceweathernews.com. Massive coronal hole on the disk, an area where coronal particles are blasted out extra hard and fast, leaving nothing for the detector to see above the solar surface and registering as black. Not sure you caught the slow filament lift on the south, but it's practically irrelevant, like the X-ray flux chart. Solar flaring is MIA at the moment, and sunspots are to blame. One grouping hasn't been able to get anything together as he crossed the disk, and now that the Earth-facing quiet is letting go, he begins to develop and grow once more. Coming to the solar wind, you see both particle speed and density begin to slowly rise together this last day. It has produced a geomagnetic storm and instability that briefly took the energetic disruptions way above our heads. Folks, if we can get some downtime from solar storms, the quake watch will endure and come back, but it won't be too long. Geomagnetism is expected to be significantly perturbed during the impact of this major coronal hole, whenever that does get here in the coming days. Could be a higher type level event. Anyway, we find some time without storms. The coupling potential is rising. In addition to CMEs, we saw leaving the sun all over a couple days ago, after days of utter silence in the heliosphere, last night a very bright and much larger eruption can be seen leaving. This was another filament eruption, except this was much bigger than the first few. And this time I'm very much hoping the solar storms are in play above our heads because that one certainly would have magnitude 7 quake coupling potential. A lot of plasma, a lot of electromagnetic influence. Anyway, folks, if you find yourself asking questions about what you are seeing, you are one hour away from relieving them top right spaceweathernews.com. Just click what is space weather and you'll be an expert in about an hour. Anyway, on a lithospheric note, for those following the blot echoes in Alaska, half of last month's magnitude 4.5s have been in just the last week and it appears they are not transmigrating to another quake site but the Cleveland volcano in Alaska where a subterranean explosive event could be heard 45 miles away. Top story and it's precisely what we've known was coming and have said a number of times. Solar systems aren't random, they follow an order, and apparently Earth-like rocky planets with a minimum of 50 times more water content than Earth appear to be the norm and almost the rule when it comes to some stars. No, Earth is not special or even close to what the universe would consider a water world. Makes me want to go rewatch Star Water. Anyway, eyes on the earthquakes and the geomagnetic storms that could reduce them. Nexus for everything we do is suspiciousobservers.org. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.